Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Youth Man. Today we're going to be hanging out in the theater room doing an unboxing of the Parasound Zone Master 2350 amplifier. Now before we get into the video, if you're into home theater, audio and video, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell notification so that you'll be notified when the next video drops. All right guys, so here we have the Parasound Zone Master 2350 amplifier. Let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed. Okay, and as we saw with the Parasound Halo A52 Plus, we've got a nice double box here which helps protect the amp during shipping, so that's always great. All right, we'll set this out of the way. Let's open up the inner box. Inside the inner box, we've got our owner's manual. We'll set that aside. Got our power cable over here. On this side, we have rails, in case you want to mount that into an amp rack. There's two of those. We'll lay those aside. Let's go ahead and pull the amp out. Now, one thing I noticed immediately is that this amp only weighs 15 pounds. So that's much different than we saw with the Halo A52 Plus, which is an absolute beast. All right, we'll go ahead and spin this around. Over here on this side, we've just got some tape. And we'll slide it right on out of there. Okay, so let's take a look at the front of the Parasound 2350. As with a lot of Parasound products, the front panel is super clean. So over on the far left, we've got our power button. Now over on the right, you have an AB switcher that allows you to either power a set of speakers or two sets of speakers or be able to switch back and forth between one set and the other. Now because the Parasound is stapled down to two ohms, you can run up to eight pairs of speakers off of this one amplifier. So that's definitely perfect for the custom integrator that wants to be able to hook this up to say some in ceiling speakers or maybe several subwoofers. There's a lot of different applications that I could see this amp being used for. If we look at the back of the amplifier, on the far left you have some turn on options. If you slide this switch to the left to manual, that enables the front power button. If you move it to the middle to audio, the amp will turn on when it senses a signal from your preamp. And then if you slide it to the far right to 12 volt, you'll need to connect a cable from your preamp or your receiver to the Parasound amp so that when the preamp or receiver turns on, it'll send a signal to the amplifier to turn on. And when you turn that receiver or preamp off, it'll also send another signal to tell the amplifier to turn off. So that's where you would use the input. If you want to send that 12 volt trigger signal to another amplifier to daisy chain it, that's where you would use that loop output. Now to the right of that, we have the ability to lock those front AB selections. By enabling this, this will prevent somebody from accidentally turning on or off your amplifier channels on the front of the panel. If you need to use speaker line level inputs, if your receiver or preamp does not have RCA outputs, that's where you'll use those. Next to it, you'll see your inputs. So that will come out of your receiver or preamp into this amplifier with just standard RCA cables. Then you can come stereo output to go to another amplifier if you want. Again, this allows you to daisy chain that signal. So to the right of that, you have an option for a mono full range output. And below that, you have an option for a subwoofer output. And that enables an 80 hertz low pass filter. Next, we have the level adjustment that allows you to adjust the levels on each of the channels. Next to it, you have a high pass filter built into the amplifier. Now this is great if say you have some in ceiling speakers that you don't want a lot of bass to go to, you could set it on the 30 hertz or 80 hertz so that you can control the amount of bass that goes to those smaller speakers. Now right below that is where we choose how the amplifier is going to output to your speakers. So the far left, you can see there's an option for the standard stereo. So if you have a pair of left and right speakers or multiple left and right speakers, 
you would select that. If you're outputting the channels as a mono signal, again, possibly you could use that for in ceiling speakers or other applications, you would select that to mono. And if you want to use the amplifier in a subwoofer application, you could slide it all the way to the right to sub, and that's gonna enable that 80 hertz low pass filter. Now to the right of that, we have some heavy duty binding posts for both A speaker outputs as well as B speaker outputs. So if you were hooking up one pair of speakers, you could use the A channel output, the left and right channel. If you wanted to hook up two pairs of speakers, you can set one set of speakers to the speaker output A, and then you can connect your other set of speakers to the speaker output B. And all the way over to the right, of course, you have your three prong power connection, as well as a master power switch on the back. Okay, so that's a quick look at the Parasound 2350 Zone Master Amplifier. Now I can see this amplifier being used in a lot of different ways, even though it's mainly designed for that custom integrator that's wanting some versatility in an amplifier. So there we have just a quick unboxing and a first look at the Paris Sound Zone Master 2350 amplifier. Now, although this amp is designed and geared primarily for the custom integrator, I could also see it being used in a lot of different areas as well, even for a homeowner such as myself. With great flexibility, lots of power, this amp delivers a whopping 350 watts by two in eight ohms and an incredible 600 by two in four ohms. And with the ability to power multiple speakers as well as being two ohm stable, this amp has a lot of potential. So I'm excited to get this hooked up. I'll be testing it out with the SVS Ultra Towers as well as the Klipsch RF7 version threes. So I'm curious to see how well this amp performs as well as how does it sound. This amplifier retails for $12.95, so it doesn't put it in maybe a budget category, but it does offer a very well dollar per performance value to the consumer. I think that's a great price point because it offers a lot of power as well as a lot of flexibility for those that need those features. So in the coming videos, I'll be sharing with you my thoughts on how does the pair sound 2350 sound as well as perform. Well, that'll wrap up this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And as always, you guys be blessed and we'll catch you in the next video.